What's up, your fit? Um, today, our video is about supplements. So, this is going to be a series of videos where I will discuss different kinds of supplements that you can add to your fitness journey so that it can help you achieve your fitness goals, whether it will be muscle building or fat loss. So, the first is whey protein. So, kung narinig nyo na siguro, yung whey protein nga yung topic natin ito ngayon, so bakit ko siya didiscuss? And siguro, once um, part of your life, nakapag-take kayo ng whey protein supplements. So, why why is it so popular? Because whey protein works, guys, in help in helping you build your build the physique that you want so, to and to build lean body mass. So, what is whey protein, guys? Whey protein is a liquid form that is left over from the curdling of milk. The curds go on and become cheese and the whey can be refined, dried, and turned into protein powder. So yun yung process guys on how they make pro whey protein powders. So guys, there's, there are several types of whey protein. So the first one is whey protein concentrate or WPC. So ito yung pinaka cheapest and most common but it has high milk sugars or ito yung natin na lactose. So dun sa mga may um, GI distress or yung lactose intolerant, I suggest not taking whey protein that is that is coming from whey protein concentrate. So, yun yung cheapest, but it has, um, yung pros niya is the cheapest, but it has the highest um, content of lactose. So, sa mga lactose intolerant, again, don't take lactose, um, whey protein concentrate. So, the second type of whey protein, guys, is whey protein isolate. So, or WPI. So, ito naman yung mas refined sa um, whey protein concentrate. So, dun sa mga kanina, sinasabi ko nga, dun sa mga lactose intolerant, you better take whey protein that's coming from whey protein isolate. Ang isa pa sa mga advantages ng whey protein isolate, kung kayo yung mababa yung macronutrients nyo or yung caloric intake nyo, it has lesser carbs and fats um, na kasama sa content niya. So, pero mataas ang whey protein content niya. So, Sa akin, personally, I'm taking whey protein isolate right now, Nitrotech. So, if you guys, um, if you have a medyo may mas budget kaya sa whey protein, you take the whey protein iso iso isolate. So, ang next naman is yung whey protein concentrate and whey protein isolate blends. So, usually, do sa mga iba na, ano, na may, may mga forms din na ganun. Kung makikita nyo may mga ibang whey protein na may whey, pro may whey protein concentrate at whey protein isolate. Those are called blends. So, okay lang siya. Pero once again nga, sabi ko, doon sa mga lactose intolerant or doon sa mga hindi kaya mag-digest mag masyado ng dairy, so, you're gonna have problems when you take um, whey protein with whey protein concentrate. So, yun yung third, yung whey protein um, concentrate and whey protein isolate blend. So, guys, yung fourth um, protein natin or whey protein natin is whey protein hydrolysate. So, yung whey protein hydrolysate, guys, um, it's nice mas refined siya na dahil milagyan na siya ng digestive enzymes na whey protein isolate. So, mas pure siya, pero ang isa sa mga cons niya, it's expensive. So, um, and, hindi siya masyadong malasa or it doesn't taste good. So, if I if you don't have gastrointestinal problems, you can take whey protein concentrate. So, pero kung meron naman, I suggest, dun kay sa middle, yung whey protein isolate. So, what are the benefits of whey protein, guys? So, if we want to build muscle and lose fat, whey protein triggers muscle protein synthesis the, um, the highest. You know why? Because it has 10 to 13% of leucine. So, mostly guys, actually, um, dagdag lang din to sa mga vegan na tao dyan na nag, nagba body build or they want to have a fitness you know, journey. Um, if, you're, um, if you're not take because you cannot take um, protein from whey because it's milk and from other um, meat sources. So, it's, be it's best that you add leucine to your supplement. So, pwede nyo masyang makuha yung leucine sa mga BCAA supplements. So, sa mga vegan dyan, you can add leucine to your diet. So, ano pang benefit again ng whey protein? So, it's cheap and easy to consume. Cheap yung whey protein unless whey protein hydroslate yung gagamitin nyo which is expensive. So, and it's easy to consume. So, pag sinabi tayo easy to consume, you just, you know, mix it and drink it and then there you go, 25 grams of whey protein. So, a maximum dosage niyan sa isang sitting is sa isang meal is 20 to 40 grams lang. 
um, taking more doses than of that, it doesn't really matter that much or it doesn't give it, gives you the uh, advantage na sabihin nyo, mas marami akong protein, I will build more muscle. No. Um, 20 to 40 grams um, sa isang sitting ang pwede nyong itake of protein para mag magkaroon kayo ng muscle protein synthesis. Other than that, hindi siya mas beneficial. Well, nai-intake ko siya and it's good but kung if you're looking uh, for the benefits, whey, taking more than 20 to 40 grams per sitting of whey protein will not help you achieve more muscles. And also, pagka uh, na nga, sa isang sitting din natin, uh, max out na tayo sa 50 grams of protein kasi dun sa translation ng protein to our cells, meron lang siyang, um, pabaga meron lang siyang quota o may limitations lang siya. So, let's stick to our dosage of 20 to 40 grams of whey protein per sitting. Ibig sabihin ng per sitting guys, kung hindi nyo naintindihan, um, sa isang araw meron tayong macronutrient na protein na kailangan natin ma uh, maabot to build muscle. So, sa isang sitting, for example, you eat breakfast, 20 to 40 grams of protein. Sa ano na yun, satisfaction na yun na makuha nyo yung, yung benefits of whey protein through muscle protein synthesis and build more, more, build more lean muscle. And especially guys, sabi ko nga sa inyo, kung mapapanood nyo rin yung ibang videos, if you have a high protein diet, mas mataas yung TEF nyo, thermic effect on food, which is will help you burn more calories. So, yun guys, sana na appreciate yung video about whey protein. Um, um, if you like the video, click the like button, subscribe to our channel, um, share it with your friends so that let your fit be part of your fitness journey and help your fit be the best version of yourself. So once again, guys, thank you for watching. So excellence is not a singular act, but a habit. Therefore, you are what you repeatedly do.